morning. Welcome to Low and Slow, our El Camino uh, session. I call it El Camino because it's low and slow. Okay, you gotta get my sense of humor. So low and slow means that we're gonna focus mostly on, you know, grounded, uh, restorative type poses, but we're still gonna do some strength training also. Uh, and you'll get a good, a good stretch out of it. Um, no standing poses but we will be doing some low lunge and some low lunge twists, which can be challenging still, and probably we'll be sneaking in some, um, some side planks, but you have the option of doing the, the modified. So we're starting in reclined today. Um, I love doing starting in reclined just because it's like you're starting, you're starting in Shavasana and ending in Shavasana. And I feel like it's a really grounded way to, uh, to kind of get your day started. So if you would like, join me with your body stretched out in resting pose or corpse pose and just start allowing the body to get settled in. Well, we're gonna start, even though I say get settled in, let's start by finding our alignment in resting pose. So when you find your alignment in resting pose, I want you to pretend that you're standing on the ground except you're laying down. So flex your feet as much as they would if you were standing. And then just bringing the heels in hip width apart, hip width, hip width meaning your hip bones. So trying to find the alignment of the lower body first and start strengthening the legs, the glutes, the core, slide the shoulders down away from the ears and then Release the arms next to the side, palms facing up. Engage the arms. Take three breaths. One more deep breath in through the nose, fill the stomach, expand. And then on the exhale, soften and release. So allow the arms to kind of release a little bit wider. Allow the feet to naturally release to the long edge of the mat. Maybe draw the chin slightly towards the chest. And then start feeling the weight of the body connected with the earth. Just slowly scanning from the top of the head all the way to the bottoms of the feet. Noticing where your body's holding on to tension where it might feel a little bit tired today. Notice where you may need to spend a little extra time respecting and nurturing. Also pay attention to where the body feels good today. So if you had an amazing night's sleep and your body feels energized, if you feel like you're already breathing deeply into the stomach area, Anytime you have a chance to give a little bit of praise and gratitude, allow the world to receive it. Feel that cool air coming in through the nose. See if you can feel the air softly on your skin. And then taking five deep inhales and exhales. So on the inhale, with us laying down, it's really a little bit easier to do micro movements of expansion. So when you inhale, see if you can really slow down the expansion of the stomach, the ribs, and then zipping into the chest. And as we inhale, be, be cautious not to clench the jaw or draw the shoulders up. See if you can keep the shoulders in place and the jaw nice and soft. On the exhale, slowly drain the breath. So micro movements in the opposite direction, drawing the belly button in towards the backbone. And then one last breath in through the nose, expand. This time hold at the top. And then slowly drain the breath. 
holding at the bottom, and then wiggle the fingers and toes. Start drawing the feet, the knees into alignment again. Just windshield wiper back and forth the feet, allowing the legs to kind of naturally come up as you're moving side to side. So it kind of the back of the legs naturally come up. Bring the legs to stillness and then inhale, reach the arms up and over, point the toes, whole body stretch. On the exhale, soften the legs and then releasing the arms, sweeping them down towards the sides. Inhale, reach the arms up, point the toes, stretch. Exhale, release the arms, sweeping them down towards the side. Two more times, inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Drawing the right knee in towards the chest, maybe clasping hands just under the knee and bringing that knee right into center. So keeping the shoulders and the hips square and connected. And draw that right knee in towards the underarm. And then softly just draw the leg over the left side. So I'm not lifting this right hip up. I'm just really holding that knee off to the left hand side. And then slowly plant this right foot onto the ground, knee pointed up. So coming into reclined tree pose, Start to notice, so you may have a little bit more range of motion while we're laying down. So if you typically have the toes connected to the earth and the heel kind of connected to the inner shin or calf area, see how it would feel to draw that heel just under the knee or even attempt to do the toes just above the knee. So as we are setting it up, so I'm going to bring my foot into place where I know that it feels good in my body and then hinging the right knee out. So if that's too much, you can always place the block underneath and then really feel like you're connecting the hips. So obviously, like as my right knee rotates out, my left hip is lifted a little bit. So you're wanting to rotate that left hip back down. And then you can incorporate the arms once you get set. Make sure that your left foot is flexed as if you're standing. Inhale, reaching the arms up and over. Either keeping the palms pressed together or opening the arms up wide, engaging the whole body. Taking three more breaths here. With each exhale, see if you can soften that right knee just a little bit more. Continue to breathe in through the nose, long, slow exhales. And then on the next exhale, releasing the hands to heart center, drawing the knee back up, planting the foot. And then draw the knee in towards the chest one more time. So as you're drawing the right knee in towards the chest, engage the core and then slowly start to peel the head and the shoulders up, nose towards the knee. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears, soften that jaw to fully breathe in through the nose to ex expand, long so exhale to release. On the next exhale, slowly release. And then take the top of, top of the right foot into the left hand and start modifying your tree pose. So slowly starting to release the knee so the knee would be pointed downwards. If that's too much, go right back to your, mod, right back to your regular tree pose. So this one, I have the foot. So I have the top of the foot in my left hand. 
and the foot is on top of the thigh. So as I rotate this knee, the knee is now pointed down. It's a little hard to see, I'm sure. Deep inhales and exhales. So our low and slow days, we're holding the poses just a little bit longer, allowing for the breath to restore us. One more deep breath. And then on the exhale, drawing this knee slowly back to neutral, tucking it in towards the chest. And then grab your strap. As you grab the strap, then just bring the, the strap around the ball of the foot, start slowly extending the leg. So maybe the leg doesn't come out straight, maybe you have a little bend to it. Stabilizing this left leg. So the left leg becomes an anchor, you want knee and toes pointed up. But keep that engaged, it helps to kind of stabilize and keep the core engaged too. So then drawing the, the right leg in towards the body. You can always keep the, the hand either, ex, the left hand extended if you're not using it on the strap. And then slowly release the right leg to the left hand side. Keeping both hips in place, so not a spinal twist here. We're just releasing where I want you to get a deep stretch in the side of the, in, in the side of this right hip. And that it should kind of feel, you should feel that stretch radiating through the glute through the side of the leg. I'm feeling it in the calf too. And then on the exhale, coming through center, slowly releasing the right leg to the right hand side. So as you're releasing this right hand, this right leg to the, to the right, really releasing this left hip down. So I'm using my left hand as an anchor, just reaching this left hand out. Core stays engaged. And then on the next exhale, slowly releasing, coming back to neutral, releasing the strap. Engage the core, slowly lower this left leg all the way down. And then just slow windshield wiper with the legs. No need to completely bend the knees. And then beginning again, so bringing the left knee in towards the chest. Give it a little hug, tuck it in. Draw the knee in towards the left underarm. And then slowly release the left leg to the right hand side, keeping the left hip really planted here. And then setting up for your tree pose on the other side. So your right leg is your stabilizing. You want to flex the, the right foot. And then start planting this left foot where you think that you're going to plant it for, uh, for tree. So starting where my foot's on the floor and near where I'm going to rotate this left knee out. So slowly. And then bringing the hands to heart center. Really think about releasing that right hip down. Inhale, reaching the arms up and open. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Deep inhales and exhales. One more deep breath. On the exhale, start to release the hands and planting that left foot, draw the left knee in towards the chest, engage the core, and then draw nose towards the knee. Right leg stays stable.
on the next exhale, release. And then taking the top of the left foot into your right hand, slowly start rotating this left knee down into your modified, modified reclined tree. So the, the foot is on the top of the right, right thigh and then slowly releasing. So it's a different, it's a different hinging motion. So just be mindful of it. If that doesn't feel good, go right back to your free pose. One more deep breath in through the nose, fill, expand, and then slowly release, drawing this knee back to neutral, and then taking the strap around the ball of the foot, extending the leg, and then drawing that knee in towards the chest. Slowly release the left leg to the right hand side, planting this left hand out onto the floor, just to anchor your body. Right leg is stable, so right knee and right toes pointed up. And then slowly opening this left leg to the left hand side. So really taking your time using, using that tension in the strap Keep it slow and mindful. The right shoulders, the right hips, the right hip is released. So everything is, everything is anchored to the mat. You're just keeping, you know, as you're opening this left leg, it's a little easy for the right side to kind of pop up. One more deep breath. On the exhale, slowly drawing the left leg back to neutral and release the strap. Engage the core, slowly lower it all the, all the way down. And then stepping the bottoms of the feet in, planting the feet, stepping the feet about just a little bit further than hip width apart, slow windshield wiper back and forth. So really taking your time with this. Maybe taking two or three breaths on each side before switching. And then inviting the bottoms of the feet together, releasing the knees coming into a, re in a reclined butterfly. So if you need to put pillows or even blocks underneath the knees to support, we're here for probably seven or eight breaths. I want you to notice like while, you're, while your body is just in the pose, so bottoms of the feet are touching, knees are released, notice where you're feeling the stretch and then pressing the bottoms of the feet together, noticing how that changes. As you're pressing the bottoms of the feet together, kind of tilt the pelvis up just a little bit and connect the whole lower back to the earth. Notice how that changes the pose. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears, belly button drawn in towards the backbone. And then slowly stepping the feet back so the bottoms of the feet are connected, knees are up. Just bring the feet just slightly wider than hip width apart and then this time just the regular windshield wiper back and forth. And then stepping the feet back to hip width apart, bringing the heels in nice and close to the hips, releasing the hands next to the body, coming into just our modified bridge pose. 
So we're just tilting, so I guess it's more of a baby bridge. So we're just lifting or tilting the pelvis up, lifting the hips off of the floor. So you're still getting a good quad stretch, really engaging that pelvic floor and engaging the core. So it doesn't look like much, but with the baby bridge, we're really activating uh, the quads because the weight of the body is really kind of in the bottom of the feet here. And then slowly release, keeping the left foot planted, crossing the right ankle over the left knee, and then just taking your right hand to the inside of the right leg, pressing this leg away, kind of releasing, giving it an assist to release that right knee. So start here. You can even slightly rock side to side. And then slowly come back to stable and draw the left leg in towards the chest. So naturally my right elbow is pressing the right leg away. And then you can even straighten this left leg, flexing the left foot and rocking side to side here. See if you can release that lower spine flush with the floor. And then slowly bending this left knee, plant the left foot, crossing the right leg over the left, open the arms up into a T and slowly release the knees to the left hand side, looking out over the right. So I wouldn't go too deeply with this spinal twist. We are still kind of just getting into the meat of our sequence. We'll save the real deep spinal twist for the end. And then slowly draw the body back into neutral. Planting that right foot, crossing left ankle over the right, the right knee. And just starting by releasing this left knee away from the body. And then inviting that right leg in towards the chest and using the left elbow to release a little bit deeper. So extending the right leg long, flexing the right foot, you can rock side to side here. And then slowly releasing the right foot down, crossing the, the left leg over the right open the arms up into a T, release the knees to the right hand side, looking up over the left. Do one more deep inhale. On the exhale, slowly coming to neutral, extend both legs up, fingertips connected underneath the hips, and then slowly with the core nice and engaged, slowly release both legs all the way down. And then once the heels connect, keeping the legs stable, inhale, reach the arms up and over. You can either roll to one side and come to seated or slow momentum with the arms, reaching up, engage the core, nice and slow, come all the way up to seated. And then find yourself about half, you know, in the middle of the mat. Just kind of finding that alignment and seated, and then taking the strap around the balls of the feet, finding our staff pose. So for staff pose, we've done the staff pose hover before, 
We're going to do that with the strap this time. So typically the staff pose, our palms are lifted and then you lift your, lift your heels. So we're just using the assist of the, of the strap to do that. So find your alignment first. That's top of the head released towards the sky, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Engage the core, soften the shoulders down. So shoulder blades are drawn together. And then using the strap and the strength of the legs, lifting just the heels up. And the more you flex the feet, the deeper the stretch. Just continue to, to draw that belly button in towards the backbone. And then on the next exhale, soften the heels to the earth, keeping the strap, one strap in each hand, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, hinging at the hips. So noticing, even, even maybe do this at home, notice how it feels to round the spine and come forward, and then notice the difference, how deep it is if you find your alignment and then hinge forward. So obviously, whatever feels best for you, but if you're looking for a really deep leg release, then hinging, and the more you flex your feet, the deeper the stretch. You can also keep the knees bent here if you're really tight in the hamstrings and in the calves. One more deep breath. On the exhale, release chin to the chest, and roll the spine, releasing the strap. And then coming into an easy seat. <clears throat> I'm starting with the right foot. So I'm taking uh, the right foot into my left hand and the right knee into the right hand and just rocking side to side. So we're coming into half lotus. Um, if full lotus is within your practice, go for it. We'll just switch sides and do, you know, do the other side. And then invite the top of the foot in towards uh, the crease of the left leg. If that is not within your practice, there's no pain in yoga, so make sure that you're mindful of that. You can take, you can take the foot to the top of um, the block or even turn the block down to the lowest setting. And you, you can still get the nice stretch in the hip, just releasing, so pressing the inside of that right leg. So whatever feels better. So if you're in half lotus, just sitting up nice and tall, maybe even invite the fingertips to the earth, find that alignment again, breathe. One more deep breath in through the nose. On the exhale, extend the left leg. So keeping the right foot in half lotus, Extending the left leg long. So the left knee and left toes are pointed up. Inhale, reach the arms up, and then hinging at the hips, reaching those fingertips away, and then inviting the fingertips down towards the earth. So this is an even deeper stretch, especially since the leg is in half lotus. Be mindful that the right knee is not too strained. And if it is, just make some adjustments. So either release the left foot a little bit closer to the knee or even just place it on the ends on the inside of the left leg. And then slowly release, coming back to your easy seat and switching sides. So now just rocking this left leg. and inviting the top of the foot into the crease of the right leg. Make your modifications, lengthen the spine, find your alignment. And then slowly releasing this right leg long. Stay 
stabilize the right leg. Inhale, reach the arms up and over, hinging at the hips, reaching, folding. One more deep breath on the exhale, curl the spine and release the legs. Release both legs underneath the body, coming into child's pose to your version of child's pose, either the knees together and the arms draped to the side or arms outstretched, or even releasing the knees to the long edge of the mat, releasing the hips down, coming into extended child's pose. Take one more deep breath here, just resetting the body and then slowly coming into, so release from the, from the mat, and then turn the toes under, lift the hips high, coming into downward dog. Just pedal it out, try and draw the ears in between the arms, the shoulder blades are drawn together, underarms release towards the mat. Deep inhales and exhales. Look between the hands, step the right foot forward, release the left knee down. And then planting the left hand to the instep of the right foot and release the right arm up. So if you wanna go a little bit deeper than this, then you can bring the top of the hand to the small of the back. Inhale, reach the left arm up and over and then release all the way down to the ground. Turn the left toes under and step back into high plank. If you prefer to keep this really slow and low and slow today, release down to the knees. And if you're in full plank, really try to bring the shoulders over the wrists, pressing into the heels. And then release the left knee down, kind of turn so that the right foot is square on the floor. I'm bringing my left hand to center and then reaching the left arm up and over. If you wanna create a balance with this side plank or maybe even challenge yourself a little bit more, shift the weight into that left hand and start releasing the right leg. So floating the right leg up. Engaging that core, find a focal point and then slowly release the right leg, release the right arm down. Coming back into downward facing dog. So pedal it out a couple of breaths. And then look between the hands, step the left foot forward, lower the right knee. Plant the right hand to the instep of the left foot and then reach the left arm up and over. If you want to go deeper, bring the top of the left hand to the small of the back. On the next exhale, reach the left arm up and then plant. Turn the right toes under, coming into our full plank. Find your alignment. Stable, really engaging that core, and then lower the, the right knee, turning and opening to the left. So I'm going to kind of recenter this right hand and then reach the arm up and over. So full like this whole side body. So from the fingertips all the way to the edge of the left foot, I'm feeling that stretch. And then slowly shifting the weight into the left hand, or into the right hand and see if you can float the left leg up. One more deep breath. On the exhale, lower the leg, lower the arm. Come into your child's pose, release. Take five deep breaths here. With each exhale, see if you can sink and soften just a little bit more. And 
And then after your fifth exhale, just start walking the hands slowly in towards the body. Release into hero pose. So you can start hero with just the hips released to the heels. Find your alignment. And then maybe take a few breaths by turning the toes under, sinking the hips. So if you have limitations in the arches of the feet, just be mindful. You control how much weight you're putting onto that. If you need to lift up onto the knees, then lift up. And then slowly release back to your seated pose. So you just kind of release the legs, coming back about halfway onto the mat. And then modified boat pose to release all the way down. So taking your time, so engage that core, and then slowly. See how it would feel to just have toes connected. And then if you want to challenge just a little bit more, you can start extending the legs and then sweeping and opening the arms up, shoulders are released, nice and controlled, all the way down. Draw both knees in towards the chest, rocking side to side, making small circles in one direction and the other. And then planting the feet, really tucking the heels in, close to the hips, grab that block. We're just gonna take a few breaths, but assisted bridge feels so good for that lower back. So if you tuck the feet, the, the heels in towards the hips, planting the feet, then start lifting the hips up. Find your sacrum area and lower the hips onto the block. So the sacrum is usually, it's like right below the waistband. So not the tailbone and not the small of the back, kind of that in-between spot. Take four more deep breaths here. With each exhale, see if you can release the weight of the body just a little bit more onto the block and notice how that releases the lower back. After the fifth exhale, slowly lift up onto the toes, releasing the block, slowly curl the spine all the way down, draw the knees in towards the chest, open the arms up into a T, release the knees to the right hand side, looking out over the left. And then to deepen this, to really get into the spinal twist, then you can straighten the legs and even plant a hand to the top leg for more leverage. With each exhale, really sink the shoulders into the earth. See if you can look over the left shoulder just a little bit more. And then on the next exhale, slowly resetting, drawing the knees to neutral and releasing to the opposite side. So knees to the left, eyes to the right. One more deep breath. On the exhale, slowly reset, extending the legs long and starting to prepare for Shavasana. So as we start to prepare, really engage, find your alignment first, engage the whole body, maybe even take a stretch overhead, flexing the feet, and then soften and release. Allow the feet to naturally release to the long edge of the mat arms next to the body, palms facing up. Maybe draw the chin slightly towards the chest. Soften and release the bottoms of the feet. Releasing the legs. Soften the hips, the stomach. Release the tension from the spine from the base of the spine all the way to the top of the spine. Soften and release the chest, the shoulders, 
the arms. Feel the vibration of the body in the palms of the hands. Releasing the neck, soften the jaw, release the cheeks, the ears, the nose, soften and release the tension behind the eyes and the forehead. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and on the exhale, soften and release all the way to the bottoms of the feet. For just a few moments, I'll let you rest and then you'll hear my voice again. As you start to hear the sound of my voice, start bringing awareness back to your space. And as you're bringing the awareness back to your space, notice your stillness. Notice the slowness of your breath. Maybe draw some gratitude in for that. And then invite small movement into the fingers and toes. Maybe take a stretch overhead. And then as you feel ready, keeping the eyes closed, rolling to one side, drawing the knees in towards the chest. Inviting gratitude in for the physical body, for everything the body allows us to do. To play and dance. To explore. Gratitude for the parts of the body that function without us really even thinking about it or being conscious of it. Gratitude from our mind's ability to allow this level of stillness, this level of bliss. So as we roll to one side after our Shavasana, this is our bliss state. The state where we are conscious and awake, but we are kind of just enjoying that yummy stillness. It comes from all of the movement, it comes from all of the breath. That stillness allows us to pause and think before we speak and think before we act, bringing more patience and kindness into our own lives and letting that flow through us and away from us. Know that you are beautifully and perfectly made just the way that you are, exactly the way that you are. I invite you to show up vulnerably and authentically, first and foremost, foremost for yourself, but every time you show up authentic in front of someone else, you're inviting them to do the same. It's a trickle effect. When people see it, they can believe it for themselves. As you feel ready, slowly join me in a seated pose to close our practice this morning. Finding your alignment, finding your easy seat, fingertips connected to the earth. Lengthen that spine. Help yourself to feel grounded and stable one last moment before you enter the rest of your day. And then on the next inhale, open the arms up wide. Collect this beautiful energy you helped create into the palms of your hands. Exhaling to heart center, thumbs to the heart to remind us we are never alone. We are all connected by no mistake. May you be safe. May you be well. May you be at ease. And may you know peace. Namaste, the light in me honors.